I had a one stroke deficit on 18 and I had to hit a good shot and unfortunately I didn't. Chunked it. Chunked it. It's in the water. Oh my oh. word. Wow. Oh my word. That's what pressure will do, folks. A tie for second at the Deutsche Bank Championship wasn't the outcome Billy Horschel had hoped for. But the emotional competitor hasn't wavered in his focus or resolve. I don't dwell on, on things that are bad. It rolls off my shoulders. I got thick skin. Um, you know, I look at the positive. I'm a positive guy. The sooner you get over it, the sooner you can move on. With a sky-high attitude and the mile-high altitude, Horschel enters the final round with a three-shot advantage. I knew that I had to lead, and they one had to come chase me, so as long as I kept making pars and not giving shots back to the field, it was going to uh, be tough to catch me. Ryan Palmer tries his best, birdieing three of his first five holes. So now for birdie at this really tough long par four. To get within one. That's a rare birdie, I'll tell you. Sergio Garcia also gets off to a quick start. Starting the day seven back, he cards three birdies and an eagle on his outward nine. A little bump and run. Boom! While Garcia and Palmer have their sights set on catching Horschel, rookie Chesson Hadley makes a run of his own. But he levels off after four early birdies, and his tour championship debut will have to wait. Also making a charge towards the season finale is Morgan Hoffman, who began the playoffs 124th in the FedEx Cup standings. Now he needs an eagle at the 71st hole to advance. Shot the 62 yesterday, has eight birdies already on his card today in this round. Five under round going, could get a lot better right now. To 11 under for Hoffman. Hoffman cards a final round 63 to finish alone in third and move to 21st in the standings. This weekend has been some of the best golf I've played with a couple doubles and bogeys, so it's really fun. Hopefully I can carry it in the next week. Horschel is already guaranteed a spot at Eastlake, but his lead is tenuous. He falls into a tie but limits the damage. Wow, what a putt for a par. What a putting performance a whole week. Yeah, really amazing. Meanwhile, his closest pursuers begin making mistakes. Ryan Palmer loses his share of the lead after tugging his tee shot into the rough at 13. Oh, he shanked it. That's a shank and in the water. Wow. Tried to go down in a gap wedge and um, obviously it came out the wrong, wrong direction, straight right. While the double bogey drops Palmer out of contention, he still finishes with his seventh top 10 of the year and he plays his way into the Tour Championship for only the second time in his career. Ahead at the par 5 17th, Garcia is also in trouble. After misfiring with his third over the green, the Spaniard blades his chip into the pond, leading to a triple bogey eight. Can you believe that? And finishes in a tie for fourth. A little disappointed, obviously, with 17, but it's what happens when you're, when you're not just mentally sharp. Now the only thing left standing in Horschel's way is the course and himself. This is pressure. Another 72nd hole for Billy Horschel. You never know in this game. You have to think it's going to cross his mind. How strong is he? There was no disappointment from last week after that six iron, but you know, it's just uh, the belief in myself and the confidence that I can get over something like that. Less than a week away from that unfortunate ending at TPC Boston. Billy Horschel with the biggest victory of his career, the BMW champion, 2014. It is sweet redemption for Horschel, who quiets his critics with a two-stroke victory at Cherry Hills. It means a lot to win in the FedEx Cup playoffs because it's amplified 10 times, really. You understand what a victory here does going down the road, especially to Atlanta. You get that much closer to win the FedEx Cup. I'm not going to go ahead and guarantee a victory right now, but I will say that I'm probably going to play very well and I will have a chance to win a Sunday.